Hi, my name is Karen Perko. I'm an occupational therapist with Milestone Therapy, Inc. And I'm here today to talk to you about some activities you can do with your child with using a therapy ball, some toys, and a chair. So this is my child for today. The first thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is safety with your child on the ball. So if you notice, my legs are a little bit straddled around the ball. That helps the ball stay stable so you can safely take your child on and off the ball. I also want you to make sure that your hands, if they're starting up around their rib cage, if they have little core support, if they have a little bit more core support, you can move your hands down to their waist or even on top of the thighs, just depending how much stability they have in their stomach. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is core strengthening. So the ball is very good for engaging the core muscles and those abdominals, especially if we're doing light bounces. If you feel like your child is happy and engaged and keeping themselves up, you can go to a little bit heavier bouncing too to really challenge them. Another core activity you can do is having them go back on the ball and pulling themselves right back up. So I'm gonna say one, two, three, back to let them know it's coming and then have them pull themselves back up. Ready, one, two, three, and your child will help pull themselves right back up to upright. Another thing that you can do is work on some sensory integration or sensory input. The ball provides some good movement to really challenge that vestibular system. So it may be working on shifting them out of midline and having their hand kind of go out and catch them to stay upright or to see if their head will shift themselves and pull themselves back up into midline. You can do this side to side as well as back to front. The next thing I like to do with a child especially if they have a hard time sitting still and engaging in a task, is I like to place them on the ball. You can do those light movements and bounces, but give them a toy that they're working on for that activity, and that'll help increase their attention and focus with the movement on the ball as well. The next thing that I'm gonna talk about is some eye-hand coordination. One of my favorite activities to do on the ball is to use a puzzle. So I have some puzzle pieces back here, and I'll have a child reach back and grab a puzzle piece, come back up to midline, and they'll work on putting the puzzle piece in the puzzle. Another thing you can do for some eye hang coordination is also shifting up their position so they're laying on their belly. When they're on the belly, you can do some light bounces that gives them a little bit of input to their hands and makes them a little bit more aware of their hands. And you can have a toy in front of them that you can reach forward and place the toy on the chair. Another thing I like about the ball is it increases some social communication with your child. If you notice, we're on eye level so the child can easily see your eyes and your mouth moving. So this is a great time to do some songs and to really encourage some eye contact and even some vocalizations on the ball. My name is Karen and I again I'm with Milestone Therapy. Thank you for watching.